Hello Capricorn, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome. So we're going to go ahead and do your reading for the rest of the month. So this is going to be from uh, June 17th through the 30th. Just an overall reading, whatever messages uh, the universe wants you to know. Of course, these are pretty general guys, so please just remember they may not resonate with all of you. Alright, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, or if you have that Capricorn signature, this may resonate with you. Celtic Prospect for the rest of June here. What does Capricorn need to know? One more and we will start. All right. Wow. We have what a combination. Um, here we have the Three of Swords and Ten of Cups. There's the heartbreak and it's because someone here already they have sought this uh, emotional bliss. The, the dream here, Pisces energy. So someone is heartbroken. Are you over them or they're over you? They thought again that there was a perfect match here. So someone is feeling heartbroken. Let's see why. Cancer energy. We have uh, the chariot moving on. Okay, so some of you may be feeling that you're moving into a uh, regarding work situation with the Eight of Pentacles, focusing your entire uh, entire you know attention on a, a new beginning with the chariot. It's just very much, this is what my focus is going to be. I'm going to put all my work, all my dedication into this. And again, it has to be because of some type of separation of heartbreak of someone that was hoping this was it this was uh, what i thought we had together with the ten of cups that emotional bliss family marriage and so on so what is going to happen overall here what do you need to know what's going on a wish fulfillment uh, we had the ten of cups and we have the nine of cups so we're definitely talking that you were going to go after the wish fulfillment remember we did have capricorn that uh the chariot so whatever dedication here, you or the person that you're connecting, uh, it can be about work as well here, you are focused on going after your desire, after your wish. Someone wishes for you as well here, if that's what you're asking. This is overall, it's what you're asking uh, when it comes to the rest of the month. What can help or hinder here? We have the seven of wands. Overcoming obstacles, standing your ground, not being afraid here. It is a certain bravery with the chariot, uh, which was cancer energy here and the seven of wands. Because someone is not afraid of obstacles. Someone is not afraid of who's going to go against them. So to get this wish fulfillment, we have this fire, this burn, this uh, passion. Again, to stand tall type of energy. And that's what this is, uh, the overall situation for the rest of the month. Why? What happened here? Here we have Venus in Scorpio energy, but we are talking about Seven of Cups. The possibilities, the options, the dreams here. There's been, um, always when I see the Seven of Cups, it is options, but it's mostly here of someone that has been dreaming here. Uh, it can be a little bit of that uh, confusion and illusion of what I want, what fulfills me emotionally. And there's so many things here when it comes to this uh, possibilities definitely you know you are aware of what the wish fulfillment two sevens by the way which is very important number because it's very mystical very spiritual but this happened because there, there always were a lot of options a lot of um, confusion regarding which way do i go what is the solution here drowning in uh, possibilities uh, or daydreaming here a little bit what happened in the past so the recent past, and I, I say this with a few of my reading here, can be very much your today and your tomorrow. We're looking for the rest of the month here. But the Six of Swords is a transitioning period. We're talking uh, someone here wanting to move on. Did someone move on from you? Did you move on from them? This, again, is coming as something that is being left in the past year in this situation. It's a necessary type of movement. It's leaving conflict behind, looking again, even your thoughts here. What do I need to leave behind here? What do I need to move on? How do I get out myself uh, in as possibly as smoothly here to move forward? Leaving conflict of the mind. So what is crowning you? What are going to be your thoughts here? And we have the temperance. Now, very much here, here we have those options, those possibilities, the daydreaming. And with the temperances, is someone that is trying to look at things of how to integrate. 
what do I need to work here? I'm not throwing any type of uh, things that I've learned. Everything that I've learned here is necessary for me again to move forward. So with the temperance is this patient type of energy to look at what to integrate, what to bring together, two souls in this situation, two people, patients, uh, two oppositions here coming into one. It's all about patience though, in a way, as you work out the situation. And you know that it's not going to be something quick here when it comes to this desire. We do have, after all, a certain type of heartbreak here going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what do you need to know? Who is coming or your immediate uh, situation here? Your future? We have the Nine of Swords. Someone is very worried. We're talking about anxiety here. Now, there is the new moon in Cancer, which is your opposition here at zero degree. And especially if you have any type of... Um, around that degree and because it is your opposition here it may affect you capricorn or cancer type of energy will affect you in this way but the nine of swords tells me that there's it's always of the mind here the nine of swords is someone that stresses a lot overthinks a lot uh worries a lot type of energy and this is what you need to know uh, when it comes to this immediate situation that is approaching you we will clarify and see what is this worry Okay, here you have the lover. So how you see yourself here? You definitely know that there's a strong connection wherever you're going. You see this person as your mirror. They reflect you. The lovers always with that type of consequence energy here. I want you. You mirror me. But always there's something here that is happening that we have to make a decision when it comes to our heart and when it comes here to our mind. But definitely you are connecting with someone and you feel like they are your uh, soulmate, your twin flame connection. All right, so who is external to you or what is? We have the high priest. So we're talking here about, uh, for some of you, it can be Taurus. But overall, the high priest, someone that has, um, when it comes, very spiritual here as well. But a lot of faith, commitment, marriage for some of you. This is someone that is very wise as well. They're holding on here to when it comes to moral, ethics, um, higher education. Then this is how they may see you as well here, external as well. In your hopes and fears, you have the Queen of Swords. Is this you here that you feel like you need to be more objective, cut people off? Or this is the person again that occupies uh, you when it comes to your hopes and fears? This is what you're hoping for. We will see. You definitely have, uh, as I mentioned here, wish fulfillment. So these hopes or goals here is this Queen of Swords attitude. Again, water and um, air don't go together. So that's why I feel like we are talking about emotions here, mind versus heart type of energy with you and someone else. Are you in disagreement right now? In this situation, you are trying to make sense what's next, being objective. Okay, so what is the best possible outcome? If this is the worry here of what's going to happen, the Ace of Pentacles tells me that someone here has to give it a chance, has to open up, allow the opportunity to present it, itself. An opportunity is coming towards you. As I mentioned, always this is a very important um, new moon as well here in this situation. So again, it's a solar eclipse. So allowing that, uh, again, to give you that opportunity, whatever needs to come to the surface here. We do have worry. It's not a major arcana type of energy. So to me, I feel like um, it's someone that worries what's going to happen. But he's saying that there's an opportunity being planted here. There's a window opening up in this uh, situation towards you. So just stand your ground here. Overcome obstacles. We will see. We will clarify and see what's going on. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Oops, there was one that... I'm getting... Someone uh, is very sad. And again, because I'm reading for you, Capricorn, it may be you or the person, but someone is, is very, very sad here. They're holding on to a sadness. They're sad and they're worried and they're heartbroken type of energy one more and we'll start all right so why uh is this person balancing situation 
you or whoever you're connecting with because they're afraid of again of that tower moment what needs to come down turbulent time uh, again it may be very much internal here but they're trying to keep the peace and the balance and weigh the options here because the tower is coming down type of moment death card scorpio energy we're talking about endings and beginnings there especially if there's oh someone has been resting or uh, cutting off feel like cutting off a certain situation there may be no communication there all right so why is the nine of cups here a wish fulfillment king of cups cancer pisces scorpio what we're talking here emotional again this is very emotional someone here wants to open up their desire um this more than anything with a wish fulfillment this is what i wish remember and it's because they've been fantasizing the, here for some time all right so why the seven of wands getting out here and feeling left out rejected financial uh poor victim type of energy whatever it is the seven of wands saying no i'm not accepting this this is what can get out when it comes to how do i get this wish fulfillment how do i go here with this intuition the the king of cups uh he is um driven by emotions but again he is a cup so it's very much a, a cup he's a king uh <laughs> is a king so still is still is in control of that emotions so the five of pentacles whoever has been feeling that you know turmoil here up and down or afraid here because this always the five of pentacles has the type of victimhood uh, type of mentality here what is going to happen to me will i be rejected will i fail will i be left out and the seven of wands is like uh i'm overcoming any obstacles here uh i need i need to know here what do i do to not be left out and that's what's going to help this situation uh, hindering or helping you wow okay so we have the seven of cups with the ace of cups energy as i mentioned there is this possibility here of love as a foundation of this what's happening subconsciously at the root here it may be your inner self because here we have that one cup again that someone wants to open up uh, i think um I don't know if Cancer or Scorpio had some type of uh, same um, energy here, but it is because of love. We definitely are talking here about of love here for you, Capricorn. Um, whoever wants to pour out, uh, follow their heart here. We have a lot of water, by the way. Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Seven of Cups, and Ace of Cups. So we're talking about love, uh, romance, energy here. So that one cup that you know very much you've been dreaming, um, kind of fantasizing about. So in the past, wow, we do have, by the way, a pair, very much uh, mental com uh, type of energy connection with, with each other here, compatible as well. But the King of Swords here in the past has moved on or tried to transition here, leave conflict behind. Uh, again, because you're hoping here for the Queen of Swords, I feel like there's a connection between you and someone else, but you may have had a hard time here um, when it comes to that communication so why the temperance yep you're working uh, here with the three by the way this is very capricorn mars in capricorn energy as i mentioned this requires someone here to be very patient whatever that raw material here whatever information whatever alliance here you have been patient working away you know that it's not going to be something that is going to uh, come easily here even though all you want to do is follow your heart here pour your heart out you want someone to be open to you with this energy uh step uh consciously this is subconsciously consciously you know that there's patience working uh type of energy here focusing on something more concrete more practical you are after all an earth uh, sign here so let's see what is the nine of swords page of pentacles wow definitely with the page of pentacles we're talking about messages so why are you worried if you are thinking here regarding a working situation uh because page of pentacles it can be that um uh, salary increase uh gathering information here regarding work because this is what is crowning your mind here whatever it is even if it's coming to know the other person here send that message it's, it's a lot of worry with the nine of swords a lot of overthinking regarding this gift this token or again just being practical here and learning what do you need to know about this other person remember there is that sense of i'll be rejected or uh, financially i'll be left out type of energy and that worries you okay so we have the lovers though my goodness this queen of swords so this is definitely your energy here or the person that you are connecting 
as I mentioned, the lovers to me is two people that are meant for each other. There's always type of consequences. They can be uh, the mirror of one another. But this is the decision. Queen of Swords is trying to look at it very objective. She does come at times as the single woman here uh, or in this situation as the divorced person. But we're talking something more, most concrete here of what do I need to decide here? How do I be, ob uh, how can I be objective? Especially again, since you have been overwhelmed and uh, with these options or emotions here that have been ca uh, causing a lot of um, overwhelmed energy, very sensitive type of energy going on. Okay, so what is going on with a high priest? Are you dealing with the Taurus too? <laughs> okay, and I say this because both of these can be Taurus energy. Now, very spiritual, as I mentioned, with the with the high priest and the empress is all about love. So what surrounds you here, Capricorn? It's about abundance of love. Um, this is unconditional. This is one following these uh, emotions. Two major arcanas. Again, some of you may be dealing with the Taurus, but overall, it's just letting yourself here guided by love. It will show you the way. The high priest can be very wise. We're talking about a counselor here, someone that can give good advice as well when it comes to love, nurturing, and kindness. So the Queen of Swords, man, she's overanalyzing. Whoever has been here, kind of dissociating themselves, solitude, um, spiritual strength type of energy. You're hoping again that you are going, by being objective here, or again, searching for this energy with the Queen of Swords, finally finding the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, again, I feel like this is a lot of uh, overthinking. A lot of solitude, a lot of overthinking, a lot, a lot of overanalyzing. And even when it comes to this information being presented here or talking or heart-to-heart -heart conversation, um, you're overthinking it with that energy. Remember, the Ace of Pentacles, which here someone is balancing, is your best answer. Oh, my goodness. Jupiter is in um, Capricorn right now, by the way, and it's retrograde. But it's saying there's an opportunity that is coming towards you. Do not waste this opportunity because, again, the Wheel of Fortune is about always cycles here and fate type of situation. So there's going to be this opportunity. You already have the information here. If someone, If this is someone that is approaching you, Remember that chance, that opportunity that is coming towards you and how you take it. If you are already thinking opening the door here, it's saying that it's the right time right now. Especially, like I said, with the new moon in Cancer, it's affecting you because it is your descendant. In this situation, it, it is your seventh house. Okay, Capricorn, uh, this was pretty general. I hope it does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. If you are interested in a personal reading, please see the description box below. Thank you. Bye-bye.